Hi everyone, this is Lovely Woo coming to you again today with another video. Today is uh, June 27th and I went outside today. I did this um, run <laughs> to give me something to eat which was not healthy and then i was gonna stop by the office because they had this thing remember that yesterday I, I said i was gonna do this thing today and, and find out what it's, it's about or whatever we were supposed to have um fire department on the complex and um we get to meet the fire departments at least that's what they led us to believe and it would have been a great opportunity for me to and it's so funny how that happened to me it would have been something that an opportunity for me to um talk to what somebody anybody to talk to them about volunteering and um donating and i wanted to do that outside of me meeting the fire department um the fire department or a fireman because i don't know how this is so funny so when i came home the other day the flyers was on the door like I literally put the video out where one of my um, dream guy or my vision board guy is a fire a fireman. So we talked a little bit about fireman, and literally the next day I came home and that flyer was on my on my door. So I said, "Oh God, I must have a really, 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 really good sense of humor." He's always teasing me. So no, that didn't happen. It was no fireman. It was no um adventure there but to me it's like um validation that i hear you i see you and just be patient so that's funny to me but i did go out i got me something to eat stopped by there got a hot dog which i don't eat hot dogs and gatorade and came home and here i am um i have had this conflict of interest for a while now um, that I'm going through, um, I'm going, I'm at, I am going through, um, something that it's, I can't explain it, but I'm in this gray area when it comes down to my family. I'm in a gray area to where, <sighs> When I deal with certain mem members of this family, they tend to trigger me. They tend to bring out the part of me where um, that's not me anymore. You know what I mean? Not that I turn into this monster, but I let, I tend to get triggered more so now than I ever have. Um, with my one particular sister because like i said on the last video she comes at me she comes at me like rah, like all this energy right in your face just throwing it at you and you have to you know deal with that and i tr i keep trying to explain to my daughter how this happens right and my sister i i, I my older sister i talked to all the time you're trying to explain this to her and how it makes me feel and my daughter is saying why do i even answer the phone why do i allow people to trigger me or get to me like that and why do i do it and i came up with this excuse like i i want to help you know i do want to help people my 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 mission is to be able to help others or be a blessing to others to people in some form or fashion right and i asked myself how can i expect to do that when i can't even help my own family people that i know people that i i be around I grew up with them and i don't know how that's possible i've tried and i don't think i'm i don't think that i'm going to be dismissed from having other people just because I don't help the people that I reach out to and try to help but then that's coming from me you know like like I can't do this on my own if I'm asking God to help me to do 
this thing that I don't, uh, you know, I'm praying that he opened me up to. Um, I got to let him, I got to let him drive. You know, I got to let God say, you know, when I'm ready or when it's time to do so. You, I can't save the world, even though I would want to, I would love to. I can't save the world unless God moved me to save the world or put me in a position to. So the gray area is, I am letting, I feel that I am letting my family trigger me to the point where I, I keep having to start over. It's like. I messed up today. Today was not good. I love me some Mondays and Fridays, but today was not. Uh, I let the day win. I, I really did. I, I I saw I was on YouTube earlier, and uh, uh, Tab Tab Brown had um, she's good. T said um, something to the effect that maybe the day has won. But you are not um, out of it yet. You know, you're not. It's some to the effect that the day won, but the day may be winning or something to that effect. So I, I, I took that literally like the, today got the best of me. Uh, it's not over yet. It's still early. And I, um, I, I just, it's, I just, I don't know. It's. I don't know. It's just been one of those days where I let this fam, my family, uh, put me in a place where I, I don't feel comfortable at anymore. It's not me anymore, and it's it's not um healthy to be feeling that way. And I, again, I love my sister. I don't have anything against her, but I can't do what I think I could do in that situation. I, I, I'm giving, I'm asking God to give me strength to be able to walk away from that situation that's her circumstances and i could pray for her and i love her from a distance i'm gonna pray for her and that's my sister i love her I love all my brothers and sisters but me trying to deal with her her stuff is the equivalent of trying to with my stature and my height my body stature and everything it's it's literally um like somebody me trying to lift a car like with my hands like like lift the car up um just for the fun of it like like i'm, I'm gonna pick this car up and then put it back down i'm gonna uh push this 18 wheel wheeler you know to the other side of the parking lot or something like that you know it's gonna take all the strength in you uh to do that and that's how it feels literally dealing with this particular sister and like I said I don't have no animosity or resentment against her it's just that I cannot cope goes back to saying my saying on the last video how uh, we have to not allow everything to be on us mentally like we can't there's a certain capacity we could uh, deal with handle you know and then after that the wires break you know and we are in all kinds of you know anxious anxiety you know all these things going in there and breaking us down it's draining and when i say draining all of my energy was stirred up this morning and i don't even know why i even picked up the phone so i had to look at it in the sense of uh she caught me off guard i mean I'm, i don't try to I, i'm not hiding from her but i know half of the things that she's calling me about does not concern me and it's too much and when you when you pick up the phone when she calls it's like She's in the middle of her head. Like her stuff is going on in her head. And when she speak, 
when it comes out, she's in the middle of her story as if I could pick it up and catch on right then and there. Um, and I don't, and I, I, it confuses me because first of all, hello. Secondly, how are you doing today? What are you doing? You know, like normal people, what are you doing? Do you have time? What you doing? You know, I need you to do this. So I need you to, but it's like, ah, da, da, da. it's like all this stuff at once. And it's like, you don't, I don't, it's like I walking on a, a, a wet pavement and you slip all of a sudden you're not expecting it you just slip you know and you try to catch yourself or balance yourself but you slip right and that's how it feels when i'm dealing with her it's like oops i answered the phone i slipped you know and i might have to put a, a band on aid on it after i get through talking to her because it's that and then some so i don't know maybe i'm complaining maybe i'm not Maybe I'm not feeling what I feel. I feel out of control right now. I feel like I have no control over my situation when it comes down to my family. I have no control. I can't make them be who they are. They just who they are. And I am who I am. And I have a lot of um, work to be done on me, per se, healing um starting over um embracing new things um trusting people without getting into um something i don't want to be in it's a lot and i'm i'm it's like day by day piece by piece you know one step at a time and if I let, if I allow people to do what I'm allowing them to do in my life, I will never have control over that. And I don't want control over them. I want control over what happens to me. Yeah, that's what I want. I want control over what happens to me. And it makes a lot of sense to me talking like this to myself or, I, you know, talking in the screen. But when I'm talking to somebody else, it's hard to make them understand that I don't mean to be all over the place. I don't mean to be uncertain or doubting myself or switching, you know, from here to there or changing my mind so often. I don't mean to purposely be that way. I'm just that way, you know, I, I'm trying to learn to control that, you know, I'm trying, I, I don't want to get back to that point where I'm, I, I'm overfilled with anxiety, anxiety, and I don't want to feel like how I felt when I was working and I was, I had to quit, you know, I, I, I don't ever want to feel that. And like I, I, I did mention before in another video, how it feels so good to be out of um under from under people that's controlling and and um demanding and you know you have to uh be assigned to somebody who does not have your best interest in hand and it's like you're dealing with a lot of different people and things and to me that's to me that's taking away my freedom and i've been so good lately these last past couple of months it's like heaven on earth it's like I, it's good it's good to relax and, and and think and move positively and 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 now that i'm i'm um feeling kind of like i have to go back to the surface right now i don't know why i'm feeling like that but i'm feeling like you know my time is running out or something to that sense but you know we're not you know god is not not on my my time so you know he's not on my time limit he has his own time and all i have to do is align up with his time and perfect will for my life and that is letting go of the will that I'm trying to control, 
And so, the more I try to do things, the more I mess it up. So, I don't want to mess it up. So, I'm going to go sit back in the corner and I'm going to wait for God to sh direct my path or show me my next step. And, 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 and in the meantime, all I have to do is stop letting people in that triggers me or letting people get me out of line. You know what I mean? Letting people control me to the point where I'm not controlling myself. I don't have no means of putting the brakes on or, or you know, I'm one of those type of people that don't want to hurt people's feelings. And I carry on. I don't know how to say no to people who I think is good. Are good hearted people you know I don't want to say no because maybe they see something in me that I don't even see in myself so it's like right now I'm having to say no to something that I'm unsure of and that if I do what would that what would that look like is that me saying I'm ungrateful for the opportunities that's coming or is it saying you know I'm open to all opportunities that's coming till I find the right one that I'm passionate about yeah so yeah this is a trying time for me I can't even tell you how trying it is for me and I'm trying to be confident in myself. And I don't know all the answers. I don't know. I don't know what to do or how to do it or when to do it or who to do it with. You know, I, I got all these questions like, excuse me, but if I sit, I feel like if I sit still, it'll come naturally to me. God will put it into motion or he'll 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 make it he'll make a way for me to understand it to see it and to understand it and to know which direction or which path to take for me you know that's that's my that's for me that's the message for me so yeah yeah um yeah that's where I'm at yeah, that's the stage I'm at right now. Um, yeah, I had um, also, you know, when I was speaking to about Monday to you about Monday and Fridays, I was was thinking about how on Fridays I would uh, be at work. Mondays is hectic, but that's those are my work days. That used to be my work day, Monday. Um, Mondays hardly I mean we're too, too busy so everybody's busy and that's when you most most work coming in and then Fridays you're chilling because half of the people are not there people take off early on Fridays and that's my day that's my day to work that's what I'm getting all my work together for the week and finishing off finishing it off so I want to face it Monday and I listen to I'm, I'm listening to my headphones and I used to listen to old school um, on KTSU and I made Fridays my day because listening to the old school and listening to it on the way home and just chilling. And not because it's the first day of the weekend. It's just that it was a good day to work. Fridays were cool. Fridays was like, I don't know. I've always liked Fridays. I've always liked Fridays. So um, I was talking about how, I was thinking about how I used to listen to old school music. But now it's all I listen to in my car is Joel Osteen. That is my guy. Joel is my guy. The motivation, the motivation, the inspiration he gives to people when they're in the midst of going through a whole lot and you, 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 you're in your car and you're driving and you try not to, to, you know, you just want to get home safe and, it, and, and it's like Joel is bringing it. He's just bringing it, bringing in encouragement. And his, the way he presented, it's just, it's just like, you know, God just like telling you right then and now, hey, I hear you. 
I'm listening to you. I got you. You know, all these stories that Joel beats Joel Osteen bring up and it's just so much inspiration there. And I uh enjoy that. That's what I'm into now in I've always been into gospel music, but um inspirational um content on radio, that's that's I gotta have it. I got every time I turn my car on, every time I, I'm going anywhere it has to be Joel. I can't even try to switch the channel. When I switch it, I switch it right, right, right back, right directly back. So for those who are, who need some encouragement, man, just get the Joel Osteen iPod and whoo, yeah, it, that'll do it for you. I, I think that'll do it for you. That's my guy. That's my guy. So Fridays and Mondays. That's what we were talking about. Monday. This day really did get away from me. It is it's not anyway. It is it's it's a good day. It wasn't hot. It was partly cloudy out there. Um I still have to go wash that I have to do and I want to come back and relax, fold clothes and uh tackle everything else tomorrow i'm gonna study it's so weird because i still have to study for this test which i have to schedule the test i'm gonna do the test i'm gonna pass the test and i'm gonna i'm after that i'm gonna have to make some harsh decisions on uh what i really want to do because right now i don't know what i really want to do um as far as career is concerned um i i do know that i do want to do my own business I want to start my own business and I tell you that all the time and I say all the time I'm going to start I'm going to do it today I'm going to write down the content of what I want to brand and all this other stuff and study on it and that's my goal I'm telling you that's hopefully a year from now I will be working <laughs> on with my own means so that's one of my goals so let's see where God takes me with that. So, okay. I'm not going to keep you guys. Um, want to say that. I want to say, um, hang in there. There's nothing we can do about anything, really. Uh, but, you know, rely on God and, you know, just be alert and know that I think you if you know yourself you know what you're capable of if you really know yourself you know how much you will allow in your life and who you will allow in your life so working on yourself and loving on yourself like i say i always say love on yourself and sometimes when days like this happen when i'm dealing especially when i'm dealing with my family because nobody outside of my family could get me to that point to where I'm questioning myself. Nobody could do that. I won't allow that. That's off limits. But your family can do that because they're your family. And um, that's why sometimes it's good to, you know, keep them out of this. And, you know, they're just a phone call away. They're just uh, around the corner from you. If you need something, I'm sure you can call them or, you know, help them when you're called to do so. And I think that I think that's what I need to work on mostly is um, strengthening myself to where I can um, handle uh, situations when it comes down to, to my family. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, good news. I have a, an addition to my family, which my son, you know, I'm expecting, I was expecting, <laughs> I was expecting a grand um, child, you know, from my son, from his side, his, from him. And I already got a grandson from my, uh, my daughter. So he's wonderful, great grand, fine. But my son, and his wife is debating on having kids so 
No, don't get excited. No, they're not having me a grandkid. They had me a grand puppy. They bought a grand puppy. So this dog, he's so adorable. He's so cute. He's a rock waller. And he's so cute and tiny and so cute. And I am willing to accept the fact that he's my grand puppy. I'm okay with that. I, I got a grand puppy because I have on my vision board. It's not a vision board. It's not a vision board per se. I got a vision board, but I also got a wall, a door in my middle room where it has all of my uh, index cards of all the things that I I want to uh, have or, or accomplish or, you know, I want God to bless me with. And one of them is to have more grandchildren. And I guess that grandchildren thing is the grand puppy. So <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm all right with that because it's kind of economically hard to um, have children these days. And it's econo It's it's like a, a, a political thing now where you don't have control or they want to take control over if or not you can have kids or you know not have kids or whatever i think everybody is entitled to their own free will i hope that everybody know that or consider you know there's a life going in them but you can't i do i would not i mean if god is saying if god is giving you a free will to choose what is government to to say how do they get to say whether or not we can choose life or not or choose to live or die or why do they want to take over what god is not even making us do you know what i'm saying he gives you free will and the government is trying to take your free will from you mind you it is a life mind you if it's a circumstance that you can't prevent happening to your body then maybe you need to think about whether or not you you want to it's your body if you want to pro bring that life into i think for me it's like i don't i don't one way or the other it's it's not for them to control it it's for you to decide now god is a forgiving god so if you choose not to have a kid um if you choose not to have a kid i'm sure that that thing right there is between you and god you know that's a thing that you and god have you have to deal with god on your own and i think we are letting our government take too much control over our bodies eventually our minds and then eventually our souls so the thing that's going on right now is uh, abortion laws and you know you must have a baby if you you know you get a baby we, we're not gonna abort it and you got to deal with it and got to raise it even if you got raped or whatever you having a child you can't afford it or you having a child that may you know cause compliment comp, comp, what's the word uh confusion or, or or conflict in your body health reasons and stuff so uh, I, I i no you can't do that so to me it's like um your constitutional rights should be to where you can make the choices on your own you know when i said the other day you know choose a lane and stay in it we our government is like choosing the lanes for us i think they they want to control illnesses like COVID. so they want you to take this these shots and take these boosters and now it's taking a pill and still can't tell us what's in it and it's like okay what to do you know we like okay we're We've taken all this stuff and then later on down the line, what's going to, can you tell me anything? Why, sh why am I taking this? Is it affecting my body or will it, you know, but we're marching to the beat of their drum 
and we're we're we, we're doing it because we're we're afraid that if we don't then all these scary stories and all these things are going to happen so we do it we comply and then it's just another okay yeah okay so i got that i got that under control let me control you know the population so yeah let let me let me put this law in place that uh i can tell you when and when not to have kids you know and then this gun law thing uh, yeah i'm gonna control this too i can turn it off and i can turn it on and i can make it and then okay let's and it's gonna be over and over and over and over again until we lose control of where our kids are what our kids are doing uh we lose control over our bodies and medical attention we lose control over everything we're controlled it got chips in us we're controlled and so <laughs> Give me the strength. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's so much going on right now. So, the grand puppy is okay with me. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah. If you choose to chill, I, you know, I don't want no kid right now per se, but I'll have one like later on down the line when these things start happening or whatever it's not like it used to be we could pop out some babies and we have our grandparents and grand you know uh grand aunts and people keeping them and while we work and it's not that easy anymore so then there's still covid out there it's like we find all kinds of we're putting out all kinds of fires everywhere you look it's something so I don't know. I just want to chill. I like my freedom. Uh, I want to have freedom of speech because a lot of people died for that. Martin Luther King died for us, us, um, and he knew his his game. He knew that he had to do what he had to do, and he knew that he was gonna die for it, die doing it. But it was so worth. It was so worth the cause, and he's. It's just amazing. And um, that God put that purpose on him. And so now, you know, we finally get up there and get out there and do our thing. We, we make it happen, right? And oh, we still have hurdles. We still have a, a long way to go to get where we need to be totally. Um, might not ever see that day. We might not live that long to see that perfect day where we, you know, we on top, you know, so, um, I don't know where all that come from, but uh, anyway, I hope everybody is having, uh, cause I, I always do that. I always go off subject. I end up, I'll start from point A. I'll go to point M and I'll come back up to, to C and D and then I go back down to S and T and then I go to the end. And that's just how I do it. I'm sorry. But uh I hope you guys are having a good day today. As well as have will have a good evening. Enjoy your families. Have fun. Try to have something good come out of your day, even if you have to take a nap that's a good thing make some, do one thing for yourself do one thing for yourself to make yourself feel really really good about the day so i will pray for you guys and i will definitely catch you on a later one enjoy bye